Mrs. Bailey, my man. <laughs> uh, good evening, it's John Harmon. I'm honored to be here with you all this evening. I'm president, CEO, and the founder of the African American Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey. And I, I chuckled a bit because I, I looked at some of these well done photos of our presenters tonight. These are three distinguished businesses, all members of, of your chamber. and. Just going to have a little conversation tonight about what's going on with the African American Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey. For those of you who may not be familiar, and then we're going to introduce our presenters tonight, who are all members of the chamber. And these men and women are working very hard uh, in the areas of business that, business that they do. And I would encourage you, if you know someone, that might be able to take advantage of their products or their services, um, give, them an, give them an opportunity because by helping them, you're helping your organization to be even stronger. You know, when I, when I think about people who establish businesses, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a commitment, a dedicated commitment to success, long hours, and oftentimes you don't, you know, you might end up working like minimum wage because you put in so many hours, but it's worth it. At the end of the day, it's worth it. And when you have a partner like the African American Chamber of Commerce, who is your advocate, who, who really goes to bat for you, facilitating discussions, making sure that policy and regulations make sense for you. But before I get into my you know, these slides that they have prepared for me, I'm asking each and every one of you that are on tonight, share which is social media platform that you're on with us tonight. You're a member of the chamber. We have a number of upcoming events, all free, that we would love for you to take full advantage of. One in particular, I believe is tomorrow when we're talking about project labor agreements. And I know some of you or not in, the, in construction, but this is a very important topic because we all are paying taxes here in the state of New Jersey and not all getting the full benefit of public contracting opportunities. So if you can't tune in, have one of your friends and colleagues who might be of interest or be interested in this topic and uh, we would greatly appreciate it. So here we go. Um, as the president, we work very hard to maximize your investment. And I always talked about positioning you for opportunities, assisting you um, a lot with your, with your plans and helping you be buttoned up so you can do the best you can do in the marketplace. And uh, next one, Nicole. So this is a, a snapshot of our board of directors, this is one slide. I'm sure there's a few other um, men and women. You can see the organization uh, was pretty diverse in terms of men and women representation. At one time, we had to do some work with that, but now <laughs> we're in a good place and I'm excited. That was our, our governance board and this is our foundation board who works with us on a lot of programming initiatives. And this is, part of the staff. Um, the staff is growing. We made an announcement today about a new addition. And there's one more addition that's gonna be announced probably next week. Pretty excited about the hires we're making here. And um, these men and women come to work every day to give you all the support you need and help me do some of the blocking and tackling in the marketplace. Next. 
these are some of the various committees that we have. And uh, if you want to um, give us an opportunity to leverage your talents, let us know um, how you could, um, you know, where, where you would like to get involved and help us out. We would definitely appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, again, this is a snapshot of the organizational chart of the chamber. We got a few more faces to add, but I can recall several years ago, maybe 10 to be exact, it was just Jacqueline and I. And just like you've grown your business, we've grown our organization as well. Next. The mission, you know, it's all about free enterprise and capitalism and partnering with, you know, national organizations like the National Black Chamber, the US Chamber, and some organizations here locally to make sure that our mission is relevant, that we are well recognized and respected in the marketplace. And so we're serious about what we do and we need members to be just as serious in their endeavors to be successful in partnership with your chamber. Next. You know, I talked about our staff growing. This is the President's Club. And these are certain businesses at, go back, Nicole, to that slide. I just want to point out a few um, businesses that are probably at a much larger level, but nonetheless, this could be you one day. I just wanted to point out um, DoorDash is there. Some of you might use, um, I think they're on the next slide, Enterprise. Um, oh, there it is, Enterprise is there. Um, many of you might on occasion have some Popeye's chicken. They're also here, Comcast, AT&T. So when you're doing your business, look at who is have relationships with us as well. We try to get those that we are spending our money with to also be a part of the Chamber of Commerce, of a part of your chamber. Next, um, on this slide, you have Lyft up there. That might be someone, some, some, some of you may use Lyft on occasion. Um, they're there, a few banks, TD Bank, Wells Fargo. Truist is one of our newest financial institutions. Some of you might be familiar with a Sun Trust and BB&T. Well, Truist um, brought those organizations together. Now there's one organization and Truist is the sixth largest bank in, in the country. Just wanted to let you know that. Next, um, it's all about opportunities, resources, opportunities, and information. We work hard and long to connect with many of those corporations that we saw on the prior screen to foster relationships for you and the community so we can have mutual value. Next. You know, I, I kind of alluded to this. And so we break the businesses, our membership up in kind of three categories, small businesses, corporations, and government. And so we work in each of those areas to ensure that we're getting value back to you. You know, advocating, as I mentioned, training, development, hosting education forums with corporations. We're trying to leverage supply diversity, trying to identify talent within our demographic of 1.2 million in New Jersey to recommend folks for employment. We look to get corporations to invest in, uh, corporate citizenship programs around youth enrichment, education, you know, workforce. You know, we have an ex offender program um, in terms of job placement as well as starting businesses. And then in government, you know, HUD, Section 3, um, all public housing projects, keep this in mind, are subject to what we call HUD Section 3, was a, which was a part of the Civil Rights Act. In essence, 30% of all new hires must go to um, businesses in the community or residents within those public housing projects. 
And many of our businesses and members live close to or have businesses close to these public housing projects. 10% of all contracts saying 3% are professional services contracts. So keep that in mind. Don't just ride by these projects or public housing development. They're in, in challenge when you speak to the executive directors, you ask them how they're doing on HUD section three, how they're doing on title six. And title six has more to do around transportation, but it still has goals attached. These are federal goals because they're federally funded organizations. Next. Why do businesses join the African-American Chamber, Congress of New Jersey? Some of which we talked about the advocacy and positioning our members for opportunities, networking, connecting, referrals, marketing, access to some of the corporations that we talked about, discounts that we get from some of the colleges and universities. Also Lyft gives us some discounts as well. So there's a lot of reasons. The US Chamber of Commerce, the largest chamber in the world. You have a dual membership. You're a member here, you're a member there. So keep that in mind. So a lot of the information we're disseminating is not just from here or your chamber, but it's from um, the US Chamber and the National Black Chamber as well. Next. Our radio show uh, every Monday from 5 to 6 p.m. A great opportunity to network, to profile your business, to promote your business. If you have not been on the radio show, there's no other chamber in the state that has its own radio show. So you don't want to miss this opportunity. Take full advantage of it. And I thank Deborah Frazier. She's an amazing woman. She's a part of a, a wealth management organization Give her a call, but she also steps in to, to bail me out when I have conflicts on my calendar. And um, I really appreciate it. Maybe Don will get you the host one day. You'll, you'll be a good radio host. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll keep us all entertained. Next. Our TV show, Pathway to Success, airs once a month, uh, the first Saturday of each month from 9 to 9.30. Um, we just received a, a, a gold telly award for cultural television. You know, Don, you know, that's my own Oscar, brother. Um, <laughs> it's only I was right. really <laughs> just shocked to get the recognition. But the show airs again uh, on the following Tuesday at 11.30 p.m. Um, you know, I have a viewership of about 30 million people. So we're pretty excited about that. And, uh, and take a look at some of the organizations that sponsor that programs. It costs a lot of money to have that TV show, but we're in our second year, so um, God is good. Next. Uh, I talked about this access to government, education. You know, our, our healthcare sector is really expanding. Horizon Blue Cross and Blue Shield was the first. Now we have Jefferson. Jefferson has a big hospital system in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. And then we have Hackensack Meridian um, Hospital, which is, I'm on the board. They're the largest in the state. So we're connected on both ends of the state. And we're looking to grow our healthcare uh, relationships because they're very important given the underlying conditions of health as it relates to black people. High blood pressure, heart disease, and diabetes. Um, we're doing all we can to get those numbers down. That's not good. Um, a lot of what you see on this screen is an expanding list of our partners, of our members. Uh, it's just growing. People are calling every day, trying to find ways to have a relationship with your chamber. And uh, so I would encourage you all to tell some of your friends, there's still not enough businesses particularly black businesses that are members of the chamber. We're starting to get a lot more interest from other folks other than, than, than our primary target membership. So 
I need you all to go out there and tell a friend about, you know, why you're here. Maybe, maybe you don't want them to get what you're getting. Don't hate, we need you to, we need some help getting more members here. Next, Nicole, an expanding list. Talk about, you know, the radio show, TV show, the President's Club. It's just growing, you know, um, technical assistance. We have our own micro lending and technical assistance program that's growing every day. And um, if you need a loan, Give us a call if you need help with your business plan. We're here to help you. And we don't know you need help unless you raise your hand. You can get a loan through us with some of our partners starting as low as $10,000. Um, give us a shot. We're here to help you as best we can. Next. Our bonding program. I think Ms. Jackson is a participant in the program. Um, and she'll be able to share her success. But you, if you have friends that are in looking to do public contracting, um, those in construction in other areas, this program is free, paid with taxpayer money, your taxes. We need more people to take advantage of it. We've done over $21 million in bonding, just that 21 million. And and we started this from scratch. Take advantage, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't, please. Next. That's what I referenced, the Equitable Small Business Initiative. And it's all about helping small businesses like yours to be in a better place, helping you gain capital, helping you gain the technical support you need to execute your business plan. Next. We have a webinar coming up on the 24th. Um, please, we need many of you to register to attend. Wells Fargo is making this happen all the time. Please, on the also on the 24th, we're doing a special um, bonding education webinar. We got a call from one of the local um, council representatives and, and the SAC, and we're gonna do a, a standalone event for Dr. Terrence Love uh, of Passaic County. Financial literacy, partner with Morgan Stanley, one of the biggest investment banking organizations in the world, has partnered with your organization, your chamber, to help you get in a better place financially. Uh, I really need everyone on this uh, communication tonight to register for each one of these events and tell a friend, we need to have good attendance and we can only do it with your help. COVID-19 vaccine, been talking about that at length, okay, at length. We just had a webinar on yesterday about it. We've got another one coming up on the 28th. Anyone you know out there that has not taken this vaccine, we're, we're pleading with them to do so. I talked about the project labor agreement. Um, we had a webinar on June 23rd. Tune in, learn what's going on in New Jersey, how some of your friends and colleagues are being shut out from opportunities because of other people getting preferences. We're trying to educate and we're trying to change some of the laws here in New Jersey and opportunities to make things a little more equitable. Next. Uh, a calendar of events. We are working on networking events on in four different areas of the state starting as early as next month. And, uh, they're all going to be free, going to have food, going to have a little liquor, going to have some music. So please, you can bring a friend. And once these are announced, we want you to join us. And then, of course, we have a whole calendar of activities that we do all the time. We need you to show up because people want to see you. Next. The gala normally is, is in, in February. <laughs> I'm just looking at some of these images. These people are really getting down. But we got, you know, just keep in mind, 
Check the calendar. There's always something going on at your chamber. Don, was you out on the floor, brother? Oh, 100 percent. Oh, yes. Especially and, if, and look and look forward to and look forward to fellowship with everyone once again. Especially if a atomic dog comes on. I know you're really gonna be out there. <laughs> Our golf event was an overwhelming success. We were sold out last month. And uh there's more to come. Next. Uh, a Black Lives Matter a mural in front of the, the building. You know, uh, we do matter. And uh, people are taking note of that. Next. Monthly events. Always check your calendar. We always got something going on. And for those of you that are on today that may not be members, there's not a better investment and or better partner to have than the African American Chamber of Commerce in New Jersey. So get your checkbook out, credit card, let's make it happen. Next. That's how you close, Don. That's how you close, brother. <laughs> Number of our programs that we have, coding, um, leadership, returning citizens, entrepreneurship program related to ex-offenders, job placement, bonding, customized training. It's all here. You can't, you don't have to go anywhere else, but here. I talked about the coding program. Next, Nicole. Trying to keep it moving because they're ready. A leadership program. Jacqueline leaning to the side like a real G. Next. I love these kids. I mean, this is what it's all about. These are our future leaders. We got to do our part to, to make sure that they're prepared for the future. Next, workforce training. Next, yeah, we got a lot going on. Next, enough of me. <laughs> Please, you know, I'm going to say this. I'm going to try to hang in here with you guys as long as I can. But please, if you have any questions, put them in the Q&A section. If you have any questions about membership and how you want to be a part of the chamber, how you can make your time available to help the chamber, we need your help. We really need you to tell more people about your chamber because there's still a lot of people that I encounter who said they would never heard of us. Kind of hard to believe, but that's what folks are saying. All right, here we go. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right, that took a minute there. All right, Miss Jackson, that took a little longer than I thought. Yeah, perfectly fine. Hello, everyone. My name is Karina Jackson, um, and I am the founder of Exquisite Property Services. And before I start talking about exquisite property services, if it's okay, um, I just want to cut into some of my time to honestly um, uh, talk about for a second um, the chamber and my relationship with the chamber. Um, I became familiar with the chamber um, a few years ago when um, I was looking to do um, business with government and in every attempt to do so, I found myself um, in, in government and commercial work. I found myself um, at the barrier of not having, not being bonded and needing um, bonding in order to, to bid on a lot of um, work that was out there. And I started doing Google searches um, for, um, to, to learn about bonding and how to get bonded. And I came across um, an advertisement for the chamber um, bonding readiness course. And I'm thinking that, okay, it's a few week course that I'm gonna participate in and um, figure out the ins and outs of bonding. Um, and excuse me for anyone who's heard me on this um, rant before, but I really mean it when I say that that class changed my perspective as an entrepreneur and it changed the tra 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 trajectory of my company um, in a literal sense. Um, and when I say that I didn't just learn how to prepare to be, um, to be ready to be bonded, 
um, at some point, even following the course, um, I didn't get bonded during the course, following the course, um, the chamber kept in contact with me. They worked with me and never stopped working on the things that I was doing in the process of being ready to be bonded. Um, and I was eventually bonded, um, but more than just a course to teach me how to prepare to be bonded, I feel like I've gained a family. And my participation with the chamber and my membership for me is more than my connection to an organization who um, I could call and ask to help me with a loan and that sort of thing. I have people who I could pick up the phone and call um, and, and ask for some direction around um, industry specific situations. Um, whether it's been Joanne Brooks, Mary Griffin, Nicole, the team has been awesome in supporting me, advocating me and my business. And a lot of the things that I've accomplished since then has been about that relationship that has been formed and created. And if anybody is out there and has had the experience similar to me of being at the wits and trying to get wits and trying to figure out how to navigate as a young entrepreneur um, trying to figure out how to find resources and support, um, it's nothing like being able to be around like-minded people who are interested seriously in your success and the success of your business. So if I can't say it enough that the chamber is a serious place with serious people who are experts in their field and who are willing to help. And because of that, as I present my organization today, this is just another example of one of those avenues, the platforms that I've been given by the chamber to be able to, um, to, to propel my business. Um, so I, again, I just, I wanted to take that pause to say thank you because when I started my company, I was in the field looking for mentors, the people who were working in the industry and too often I was told, oh, nobody, she is industry secret. And then I got into this bonding course and had the chamber do just that. So with that said, I just wanted to say thank you as I move on. Um, I want to quickly just share my screen. I don't have a PowerPoint today, but I would like to share my screen to be able to take a look at a video that I have that is um, an optimum, um, an optimum business commercial that I had. The, my company had the opportunity um, to participate in with Optimum that showcased my company for Women's History Month. So um, I'm not sure if you can see the video screen, but I'm just going to. We can see it. Okay. Company. It's a full service property chair company. The principles that the company was born out of was sustainability and affordability. The optimal grant was incredible, allowed us to be able to become more digital to support marketing efforts and also allowed us to be able to hire. The community helps each other. And I think that's all about what being a neighbor is. Um, I'm probably connecting our neighborhoods. The name? So, um, Stop sharing now. Um, and if I can come back, I just wanted to open up with that commercial because I think the, the idea behind that commercial kind of, it allowed me to say the thing or communicate the thing that's most important about my company. The company is a property cleaning and preservation services company. So we essentially do janitorial um, services and property preservation for vacant properties. Um, we do property cleaning for residential homes, businesses, and government. Um, and the business was directly founded out of the idea of me being a frustrated customer um, and being a, a novice homeowner who, was, who lived right in the heart of North, who was looking for property care services. 
and I would I would continuously be confronted by contractors who said that they either don't service my community or either service the community um, and would come and provide services, but do low quality work at extremely high prices. And at some point, I had a bunch of DIY projects around the house that I was trying to do. Um, municipal ordinances didn't allow for me to be able to sit everything out on the curve the way I needed to for bulk pickup. And because of the limitations, I was stuck in a situation where I needed to figure out how to do this myself. And as a researcher at heart, I'm a, um, a, a doctoral candidate at Rutgers University in North um, in public administration. And I have a history of research around good governance and what it means to be able um, to live in communities where um, public service um, is extended to communities in a way that's fair and in a way that improves quality of life. And, be, and with all of those things coupled, I started doing these cleanup projects myself. And at some point, what I realized is that um, I was doing work that was obviously a, a gap in services, and I wanted to fill that gap in service. One of my biggest concerns or one of my biggest issues around um, property cleaning companies, again, was the fact that they were so expensive and the fact that as an asthmatic, as somebody who I was doing my um, cleaning, my DIY projects, was confronted with the idea that I had to stop a lot of times because the products that I was using to clean was harming me physically. And I just didn't, my respiratory, my respiratory system couldn't, couldn't take the impact of the cleaning products. So I did research to find out um, eco-friendly ways to clean and um, how to do it in an affordable way. Um, so I'm essentially in business because I want to help build and grow cleaner communities on one property at a time. And no property sits in an island. It's a part of a larger community and a larger culture within a community. And while I started the company with a target audience of residential customers, um, what I soon learned and one of the impacts of COVID is that in a lot of communities that I was targeting with, um, with in low income neighborhoods, with um, owner occupied properties, is that when COVID came, one of the issues is that property owners couldn't afford to continue property maintenance. Um, and because of that, I've begun different programs to help um, property owners. I have um, a, a program called Exquisite Communities. So it's three or more customers in a, on the block have uh, services through the company that we give a 30% discount to each customer or in that community. Um, but what it also created was a situation where my target population um, also changed. And I started more focusing on government and commercial um, uh, properties where um, COVID had required a lot of um, requirements around disinfecting services, um, one of the biggest um, uh, contracts that I have that I that is most dear to me is being able to work with the city of Newark. And the work that I do with the city of Newark is through his Invest Newark um, program where they are putting um, abandoned homes back on the market for um, local residents and for investors and to be able to rehab, work with them to clean out and rehab those properties and to be able to see community members engage with, with us in a way where they're excited that we're in a community, cleaning a community because these are neighborhoods that have been disinvested for, for decades um, means a lot to me. Um, and to see that relationship with the city to be able to grow and that the city just recently also asked for my company to work on a beautification program where we'll be doing entryways and parks and to be able to beautify a community that's been long disinvested is something that's really important to me. To be able to work hand in hand with government and be able um, to show some of those important processes that go into um, waste management, that go into um, property maintenance, 
Um, so I would say that my target audience now has become commercial and, and government entities. Um, some of those customers other than the city of Newark is also the Mental Health Association of Exus and Wervis County. Um, Rite Aid is another one who I do a lot of work for. Um, and it's not just large companies. Um, there's a there's smaller office janitorial services that we provide. Um, Ida Paper Company is an awesome company right here in, in Newark um, who um, offer a, a minority woman-owned company who offers um, greeting cards and, um, and that sort of thing that has been really awesome in terms of being able to create um, an environment where she makes sure that her staff is protected through COVID as they're still in the office, and still working um, to get greeting cards and things out, their products out to their customers. So um, if I could say anything in closing, um, just to be uh, mindful of everyone's time is that um, I see myself as a social entrepreneur. Um, my commitment is to community where we make decisions at Exquisite Property Services. It's around how does the services that we offer to our customers not just directly impact our customers and in increasing um, the value of their assets and their properties, but also how does it impact or how do we impact the communities that we work in? How do we give back to those communities? How do we make sure that the products that we use are sustainable? How do we make sure that they're affordable or reasonable um, for middle income and small businesses? So those sorts of things become really important in deciding and working with a cleaning company. And we're, whether large or small, we're looking to work with companies who have an interest in also making sure that dollars are recycled back into our community. We hire, hire local, um, all our technicians are, um, are live, um, live in Newark. Um, we, we purchase locally, so we try to make sure that our vendors are also minority and small um, businesses so where we get our cleaning supplies and stuff from. So it's, for me, it's about growing the community. It's about being able to um, extend the same, um, that same responsibility or obligation that my community had to me um, back to my community. So I just, again, thank everybody for their time. And um, if you have any questions for me, I'll be around. Thank you. Well, Ms. Jackson, I think you left it all, all, all on the field. Um, so why don't we go to um, Dr. Skip Bill? All right, thank you. <laughs> thanks a lot. And um, uh, yeah, that was a great information that you shared with us. So thanks for information and very inspiring also. Uh, Mr. Harmon, I wanna thank you uh, for allowing us the opportunity to share because you know they say sharing is caring so obviously you care. I had to throw that plug in there, <laughs> that little small commercial. But um, you know, as far as being a member of the chamber, I'm turn my, my timer on, uh, member of the chamber, you know, um, I am not active every day like, I, like I'm going to be, but I'm always, so I'm watching from a, a short distance, but I know that I can always call when I need help, because as a matter of fact, yesterday, before I get into what I do, uh, this organization I'm involved with, we were looking for um, insurance for coaches, for life coaches and uh, personal development coaches. And we were having issues finding one, but I knew I could call the chamber and get assistance, but just that quick, we found someone. So with that, once again, I wanna thank you and thank the chamber. Yeah, my name is Skip Bailey uh, from uh, New Jersey, live in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. I grew up in Trenton. Uh, I'm a certified life coach, personal development coach, uh, trainer and speaker. Uh, one of the things I do, uh, uh, I help people to shift their mindset. We work a lot on mindset shifting, uh, help them to discover their greatness and to get the results that they really want. A lot of people really don't know what they want. They can't get it because they don't really don't know what they want and they don't have the direction. So that's one of the things that I, I do and the, the team that I'm working with also also, whether it's you know personal, professional, entrepreneurial, business, 
uh, addiction. I'm a certified drug and alcohol recovery coach also. So whether it's addiction, uh, sports, um, performing arts or, or retirement, you know, we help people to discover their greatness, you know, and get those and achieve those goals and dreams. Also um, offer free trainings to groups and organizations uh, as far as like lunch and learns, uh, I also do mastermind groups. And one of the things I was doing, there's a whole lot that I have to say that I want to say, but I'm not going to, because <laughs> I don't want John to give me the uh, give me the gong signal. <laughs> but um, there's a list of things I, I was writing down. Because one of the things that I do, like I said, one-on-one -on -one coaching with with individuals, uh, male and female, and we do the group coaching also uh, with organizations, uh, teams, or whomever. And um, businesses, entrepreneurs. And one of the things that I have coming up is uh, I'll be working with uh, the, uh, he's the, um, found the commissioner of the Y, Trenton YMCA. He's the uh, Sam Frisbee. So I'll be working with him because one of the things that I've been um, offering uh, the city of Trenton and Mercer County for the last couple of years, you know, putting together a coaching team to do free coaching. So uh, I saw him actually Saturday down at the um, June, Juneteenth event downtown Trenton. And so uh, we're gonna talk and to do some um, monthly, I'm actually I'm calling it, so I don't wanna sit here and guess what I'm, I wanna call it Be Unstoppable Empowerment Hour. Looking at doing that once a week at the YMCA, you know, and it'll be a free of charge, it'll be free to the community. They just have to go online once we put things together, go online uh, to register. And reason being is because, like I said, a lot of people have a lot of talent, a lot of things they want to do, but they're stuck. You know, they're stuck and don't know which direction they're going. So I'm going to help them to move forward and go in the direction that they're looking. Um, another thing that I'm involved with also that um, this network market is not network marketing. Excuse me, this marketing organization. I'll be, I'll be doing uh, if, doing networking events out in Hamilton in 33. It's still part of Mercer County. Uh, doing networking events there. Uh, I'll be sharing that and all entrepreneurs, business owners are, are also welcome to come to network and to meet other people also. Um, and one of the things I do with my coaching, my one-on-one -on -one mastermind groups and the uh, personal development trainings is the leadership we focus on influence, you know, communication, that communication thing is big and connecting. You know, we show people how to really connect whether it's with your family members whether it's with your, your, your workers, your coworkers, or whomever, or your business partners. Uh, if you're not connecting and communicating correctly, uh, it's, it's gonna be a, a, a challenge. It's gonna be a challenge. So I work on doing that also. And one of the mastermind groups I really focus on um, presenting is uh, I'm licensed to do classes uh, through John C. Maxwell, I'm a certified John C. Maxwell um, team member, is one of the things is the 15 laws of growth. Um, and that's why I break down each law, of, of helping people to understand the things they need to do. And one of, the, one of the main ones that I really focus on is the law of the rubber band. is stretching people out of their comfort zone because it's just like with a, um, the stretch of the rubber band. You know, once that rubber band is stretched, it may, once you let it go, it may seem like it's back to normal, but it's not. So we want to stretch, you know, help stretch individuals, their thinking, their mindset to help them to move forward so they won't want to go and they can't go, but they stretch them so far, they can't go back to where they were. Uh, one of the uh, main projects that I just got involved with, no, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go back to that one first. Another event that I'm doing in the Trenton area and I'm putting together a bunch of coaches, uh, we're doing an empowerment, we're putting together uh, a group to do an empowerment fest at the War Memorial, Trenton War Memorial Building. Myself and a couple other uh, coaches, whether it's um, physical fitness coaches, uh, personal development coaches are going to be doing, business coaches, uh, doing a, an event down at the Trenton War Memorial Building and awards presentation also to, to recognize and acknowledge people who are doing things in the city and also in the Mercer County area and New Jersey also. And one of the last projects that I really just got involved with a couple of weeks ago, uh, it's called uh, Veterans Connect USA. And once again, that's, uh, it, 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 it entails a, it's like six of us coaches that are from different states and different cities in United States. So we had to come up with a name for our team, which I came up with the name is Coaches Across America. 
So what we're going to be doing uh, through the organization that we're involved, the uh, mother organization, which is upstate New York, we're going to be offering eight week coaching training to veterans all across the country. Um, it'll be an eight week, week, eight week training uh, course. Um, you know, each week will, will be a, a different program, which will balance, you know, your vision and dreams, enhancement for us. They want to go back to school, start their own business, you know, creation, covering strength, you know, harmony, that's been dealing with yourself, learn how to connect once again, like I just said earlier, how to communicate and connect with people. Because a lot of these veterans that are coming out of the military, whether it's the army, Navy, uh, Air Force or wherever, they may have gone through some issues, going through some stuff. So we're gonna help them also. And what the uh, thing we're offering them is the eight, like I said, the eight week training program, we're offering them a significant uh, pricing which is gonna only gonna be four hundred dollars for eight weeks, whether they're paying for it or an organization or a business whomever is paying for it. Uh, that's what we're offering them. So we're gonna be training them and teaching them and coaching them for a whole eight weeks. Right now, of course, it'll be virtual because we have coaches that are here in New Jersey, uh, Virginia, New York, Arizona, Pennsylvania, coaches everywhere, and we're, we're building this team. So. Um, I'm excited about, once again, going back to being a member of the chamber that from the very beginning when I was a member of the chamber years ago and I uh, got refocused on doing the things that I was doing as far as my background is music, playing music, see John there smiling, music, but I realized that music is me replenishing my energy and my things that I'm giving out when I'm, when I'm doing the coaching. You know, so that's part of my, my, my growth also. So with that, you know, even though with the coaching and we us helping the community, helping the uh, military, I mean, helping, helping the veterans, I know that if we need some assistance as far as guidance, even help, having other businesses to help direct uh, us or even giving jobs or opening up jobs for some of the veterans, I know that we can always come to the chamber to ask for some direction. So with that, I've been speaking for eight minutes and 42 seconds. And once again, I want to thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Harvin, and I'm looking forward to the future. Well, Mr. Bailey, we thank you because, you know, getting people to open up and to acknowledge that they need help is one of the most difficult challenges. Yes. You know, but once they open up and be able to leverage your, your talent and your ability, their lives can be transformed. You know, every person who's a member of the chamber, whether it be a small business or a large corporation, they had to have a conversation and then had to acknowledge uh, and then level set on expectations. And um, not to my surprise, but to many people's surprise is that they found value with the African-American Chamber of Commerce. Although the mission is focused on African-Americans, many people are realizing that when you do business, it's not about color, <laughs> it's about making money, right? Or similarly, when you have a situation where you may need some, some counseling service, some therapeutic services, or some motivational, inspirational services, you're responding to a need, but no one can fulfill that need unless you acknowledge it. You know, sometimes, you know, folks start businesses and feel as though, you know, I don't need anybody, I can go at it alone. And you can't. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's a whole lot better having an, uh, an army of folks that you can leverage uh, to, to get connected to opportunities and resources or relationships that could be transformational in your business. So. Thank you, Mr. Bailey. Thank you, Ms. Jackson. Thank you, everybody that's on this evening. And now we're going to let Dr. Don Davis bring us home. <laughs> thank <laughs> you, thank you, sir. <laughs> well, first and foremost, I would like to invoke the blessings of the Grand Architect of the Universe for allowing and thanking them for Mr. John Harmon and the African American Chamber of Commerce for providing this auspicious platform for businesses and professionals to showcase their goods and services. And also, more importantly, for being such a great advocate for all of us. Truly, with all my heart, I believe that. And I'm also glad to be shared this platform with such great panelists like Ms. Karima Jackson and Mr. Skip Bailey, 
You know, your stories and your businesses were truly inspirational. And last but certainly not least, I would like to thank the strong support staff, Jacqueline, the, the executive assistant, her lovely daughters, Nicole, Noel, Mary, May, the entire staff and board members of all the chambers for all their systems for giving me these several years in my coming up with my certification. Um, Mr. Cole, can I share the screen, please? Yes, you can just hit the, the share screen button. Okay. Sure, we got the sound in. John, this isn't. I see your um your desktop right now. So just so you know. Oh no no no! I got it. I hear you. I just want to get it right here for now. There we go. As John stated, my name is Don Davis. I'm an authorized dealer and franchise holder for Aris and Actipure Technologies. I've been in this business for over thirty years. And since 1924, you've known us as Electrolux the company that set the standard for quality floor care products, Ms. Karima, you need to know this, and personal service. In 2000, we changed our name to Aris, but we haven't changed our commitment to now provide the best in class floor care, air purification products, and services to create clean, healthy environments for homes and businesses. And that's why we're basically here today, to show more about what we're doing with our air purification units and how they're affecting the world today as we see it. Our units with active pure technology are totally unique. We use microscopic oxygen and moisture from the air to, in there to convert into powerful invisible oxidizers, which we call hydroxyls that are safe for humans and animals at a speed, speed of 1200 feet per second. And once released, these molecules become supercharged purification warriors, destroying and killing pathogens in the air and on surfaces on contact in real time, 24 seven, 365. These powerful oxidizers rapidly destroy contaminants, fungi, mold, odor causing bacteria, RNA, and DNA viruses, including SARS CoV 2, the virus which causes COVID 19 to air and on surfaces. Now, I'm going to show you a little small video that shows a little more how Active Pure works. Because of COVID-19, the air we breathe and the things we touch are no longer safe. Shared air and surfaces harbor risks due to COVID and other pathogens. But with active pure technology, air and surfaces can be purified and disinfected quickly and safely while you share and occupy spaces with others. Active Pure is a patented advanced active form of PCO technology. It works by creating and propelling safe and powerful disinfecting molecules into the air in a room, which quickly seek and destroy pathogens everywhere. Active Pure molecules work by piercing the shell of a virus or bacteria to destroy its living environment, thereby preventing it from replicating or doing harm. Active Pure technology is designed to use the law of gases to carry its safe disinfecting molecules into every nook and cranny in every shared space. The law of gases is the reason that the smell of microwaved popcorn immediately spreads through your entire home. These odorless and invisible Active Pure molecules fly through the air from our portable or installed Active Pure products quickly and safely destroying pathogens in the air and on surfaces. Active Pure is very different from other technologies that take a passive approach and require that the pathogen be pulled into an inefficient filter, UV light, or plain PCO mechanism. Active Pure does not wait to see if by luck the pathogen is captured. It seeks and destroys them quickly, wherever they may be, in the air you breathe or on the surfaces you touch. Active Pure can deliver measurable and guaranteed results, giving you the peace of mind to know that you are providing the best protection for the people you care for. Available in over 70 products, both portable and installed, 
Active Pure technology is used in hospitals, state houses, and other shared facilities across the world. It is proven by science and validated by multiple third parties. Active Pure is the key technology in our FDA Class II medical device, the Aris Medical Guardian. Active Pure is not too good to be true. To learn how you can protect the people you care about, please visit activepure.com. Everyone, and ActivePure is the only cleaning air technology awarded the prestigious certified space technology seal by the Space Foundation of NASA. In 2017, Ares and ActivePure was inducted into the Space Foundation Hall of Fame, which only 75 technologies in the past 30 years received this monumental honor, which is given to those technologies which have significantly improved the quality of human life. Now, as you watch TV and look on the internet today, you see many companies out there making a lot of unsubstantiated claims what their products can do. But as you always hear the experts, the doctors and scientists say, follow the science and follow the facts. Well, here's the science and these are the facts about active pure technology. In December, 2020, lab tests are done on our air spirit clean model was conducted by one of the world's top biosafety testing facilities in the world, the University of Texas Medical Branch which primarily tests for the US ability and the CDC. And it's certified that within three minutes on its lowest setting, we inactivated over 99.96% of live, not a proxy or a surrogate, the SARS-CoV-2, the virus which causes COVID-19. In September, 2020, my MRI Global, a FDA compliant laboratory, following strict FDA guidelines and protocols, conducted independent tests on our AIRS hydroxyl blaster unit and confirmed that our product kills 99.93% in three hours and 99.98% in seven hours of SARS CoV 2, the virus which causes COVID 19 on services. And first of all, ActivePure is the first continuous air purification to attack COVID 19 and air in our services immediately. And in July of 2020, the FDA cleared the Ares Medical Guardian as a class two medical device. Also, the Ares Medical Guardian with active pair technology is the only FDA clear active air purification technology that can be used in real time during an active live surgical procedure. ActivePur also eliminates various DNA and RNA viruses and other harmful pathogens that are detrimental to our health. And always remember everyone, ActivePur is not only for the viruses, but also for the seasonal flu, allergies, or just the plain common cold. And the one thing that all these three Aris products have in common with all the other 70 products that are under our Aris name is that they all contain the same technology, which is ActivePur. Now, with, with all things we're doing today, following CDC guidelines like social distancing, masks, and even the, va um, the vaccine, these are part of our personal protection program. And there are several trains of thought when it comes to the vaccine. I mean, one is that you might not get sick enough to go to the hospital if you come in contact with the virus. Two, uh, do you take it every year like the flu shot or how effective it is against the new variants? I mean, just this morning, I saw that the CDC was warning about the new Delta variant that could become dominant this summer. And we expect the re new rise in cases. The bottom line, we just really just don't know. But here's what we do know. We know when you add active pressure to your shared hood or space, we stop the 99.9% of the air and 99.9% .9 of surface transmission of this deadly virus and its mutation. And active pure is like an insurance policy. With our technology, you now have a comprehensive, totally complete 24-7, 365 air and surface disinfection that's completely safe to be used in indoor shared occupied space. So doing all the CDC guidelines, plus having our active pair, you are making sure your mitigations um, processes are at the highest level they could possibly be. And of course, we're in different um, school systems, businesses. We'll help bring it back to a normalcy and a life we all deserve. We've been written up in different articles and bacteria, fungi, different studies that we've done.
We have a, a range of products that go from HV install to portable units, allowing each school or business to customize a system to meet their specific needs. But our most popular products are portable units because they require no installation and you just plug it in and turn it on. And this is a few of our units. Like this is our flagship model here. This is the Beyond Air. And this is also one of the, uh, one of the several units that Mr. John Harmon and African American Chamber has in their facility in keeping their staff, members, and guests safe while we speak as of today. The Hydroxyl Blaster Unit, the Pure and Clean, which is good for classrooms and offices. And the Hydroxyl Blaster would be good for big, or, big um, um, banquet halls and cafeterias. And this is something new we came out with was the Aris Mobile. This I really like. This right here, you put in individual cars or buses or trains, and this goes up to 500 square feet. And this actually purifies the hair in your facility. Bottom line, everyone, we're in a, a position today where we're actually seeing different things happen while we're here. So we need to find a way to work our business. And I tell you what, we're here to help you and we can help one another. We want to bring back America and bring back our community in a much safer light. And if there's anything, anything at all I could do, anything I could wish, if any person would like me to talk to your schools when it comes to the business, your restaurants, please. Because the one good thing about our units, okay, we stop the transmission before it actually gets into the body. We actually kill it in the air as it goes. And that's what's more importantly about ours versus any other purification out there. We're not passive. We don't wait till it goes through our system. We actually attack it in the air in real time. And that's why air purification with active pure technology is the number one and will continue to be number one throughout the years. And I will end on that joke, Mr. John Harmon, because I know you'll be like, okay, Don, enough is enough. You know, I'll stay here for a minute. <laughs> now, this is great. And, uh, you know, we kind of cut you all a little short to tonight then, but I think you all hit the mark with your presentation. There's no question that the audience that are here with us this evening know who you are and what you're representing. And I would encourage those who um, did not have questions tonight, if you all could put your contact information maybe in the chat so they could follow up. Or if you can't reach them, you can always reach us here at the chamber and get you all kind of connected. So. Uh, with that said, I want to thank you all for joining us this evening. And please look at the calendar of active, uh, upcoming events this week alone. There's several important events that we, we really need you to, to, to support and let others know that what's happening. There is a lot going on with your chamber, and uh, we need you to take full advantage of these opportunities to leverage the resources opportunities and information that we are disseminating here. So until the next time, have a good evening. God bless you. Keep Thank smiling, you. Dr. Jackson. Let us know when you get that, when you get that paper. So we come there to celebrate with you. Thank you. All right, dear. Bye-bye. Bye. Peace. Have a good night. Good night. Again, John. I'll be talking with you. All right, Don.